So here we have some multiplication and division questions, and we need to estimate by rounding to the nearest whole number. So first, we have 25.93 times 5. But if we're rounding to the nearest whole number, because we have a 9 in our tenths, we need to round up. So we need to work out 26 times 5. Using column multiplication, we have 130. So our answer to 25.93 times 5 should be something close to 130. Or something just a little bit less than 130. Because to get our rounded estimate, we rounded up. Now, what about 9 times 35.21? Here, we can see that 35.21 to the nearest whole number is 35, because that 2 in our tenths tells us that we're rounding down. So to estimate our answer, we can work out 9 times 35. Using column multiplication, we get 315. So our answer should be something close to 315. Or something just a little bit more than 315. Because to get our rounded estimate, we round it down. Now, on to division. 47.15 to the nearest whole number is 47, and 47 divided by 7 is 6 remainder 5, or 6 and 5 sevenths. And for this last question, 73.93 rounds to 74, and 74 divided by 8 is 9 remainder 2. And it's useful to estimate by rounding to the nearest whole number, because when you answer questions on decimals, if you've forgotten your decimal point, or if you've put your decimal point in the wrong place, your answer won't even be close to these numbers. So it's always a good idea to estimate first before you answer any question involving decimals.